Hey there, it's Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like. Today I want to talk to you about how to become humbled. In my life, many times I had to be humbled. And I always say this statement now, everyone has a chance to eat the humble pie. You're probably wondering, what do I mean? But before I explain it, hit subscribe and hit like for me. So, um, growing up, I got married at 22 years old, and I bought my first home, my ex-husband and I, I was 25 years old. So, things were going pretty good, I guess, on paper, you know, new house, nice car, but I didn't, I have to admit, I didn't quite enjoy home ownership because I was young, and we didn't make a lot of money, so every dime we had got poured into this starter home that we bought. The good news is we bought it for like 30000 less than we sold it for. So once we got our divorce, um, you know, we was able to make a profit. So that was good. So, hey, if you want to buy homes and flip them, that thing is so true. It will work for you. I have to admit right now, home ownership doesn't appeal to me because, you know, I'm a single lady and I just don't want that responsibility. And another thing I always say right now, if I want to pack up, and relocate. I want to have that option, although I know I can rent out my house or sell it, but I just don't want the, to be tied to something right now. But that's me. But anyway, um, <laughs> it was humbling to buy the house because every dime we made, we had to put toward our home. And that taught me a lot at a young age. I also was humbled when I was sick with breast cancer in 2007 through 8 and 20, the end of 2012 through 2013. Both times I was bald, I had to go through chemo, radiation. It was just a humbling experience and it taught me the value of health. I want you to hear me out on this one. Your health is your wealth. Don't go around thinking having money and all this other stuff is your wealth only. If you if you are very sick, what good does all of those things mean? If you have millions and millions of dollars, let's look at Steve Jobs. This guy had millions and millions but he ended up with a rare cancer and he passed away and that money couldn't buy him one more day of time. You hear about various celebrities that commit suicide and if you look at their net worth, you're probably thinking, well, what was wrong with them? It's because something Iyala said recently rings true. You cannot hug a dollar bill. Can a dollar bill give you a hug back? Can this money really make you truly happy? And when I talk about this on my videos, don't think that I want you poor and we're going to be rumbling through the garbage cans together, eating out the garbage. I'm not talking like that. I'm just saying having the money does not provide happiness. You should want to have money. You should want to be debt free. You should want the freedom to be able to do what you want. And to be able to do that, you got to have money. So I'm not knocking it. Sometimes when you say certain things, people start thinking different things. That's not my angle at all. I want you to be successful. I want to be successful. Hey, I am already successful. I mean, I have tons and tons of money, but if you have gifts and talent like I do and you do, we already are rich. We just have to tap into it. But anyway, I'm just on a tangent rambling. Okay, but um, another time I was humbled was when I went back to school in 2015. Prior to going back to school, I was a buyer in a telecommunications um, company. I was doing pretty good for myself, but I wanted to be a social worker and therapist. I was already a life coach, but I knew I had to make it official. Making it official meant going back to school, so um, that was something I had to do. It got kind of tricky. It started off good, but by that second year, I had to do internships. So by 2017, I'm interning 22 hours a week. I'm working 20 hours a week, and I'm going to school. I needed more income, but I needed something that fit with my schedule. Uber. I had to drive Uber. People were scared for me, my classmates. They were like, we're nervous. I live outside of Chicago. I stayed in the suburbs driving. I didn't drive at night, and, you know, it was a humbling experience. I met people from all walks, Indians, Asians, Blacks, Whites, doctors, attorneys, teachers, people working at Panera, people working at Target, people working at restaurants. But at the end of the day, I learned something so key. Racism is just crazy. It's stupid to be racist. 
We all want the same things. The things they talked about are the things that I do and desire. We talk about family, education, our career, relationships, our kids. I don't have kids with my nieces and nephews. They was asking about my background. I was asking about theirs. And you saw a common thread among all of us. All of us want to be happy. And this is why racism is just, it don't make sense. I, racism is a form of fear. And it's, it's a lack of knowledge. Because if people really look at different races, what is the difference? Well, like, what is the real difference? Yeah, maybe my hair is different. Maybe our complexions are different. But cut me, it's red blood. I said this in my other video. Cut you, is red blood. If it's a different color, you're an alien. That's it. I mean, I'm stick with that. But we all want the same things. But it was humbling to drive Uber. It taught me so much. And you never know when your back is going to be against the wall or when your situation change. I know people to this day, engineers, sophisticated people um, in management, and now they have to do things they thought they would never have to do. Because you can be up one day and you can be down all in the same day. So just stay humble. You know, you go to a restaurant, you see a waiter or a waitress, be kind to them. Be gracious. That's somebody serving you. It's a blessing and an honor to be served. I got, what, a manicure um, a couple of days ago yesterday and a pedicure. I don't get it done all the time, but sometimes. But it's an honor for someone to take out time to pamper me and make me feel good. You know, it's a blessing and an honor. And I'm trying to think like that. You know, I've, I've always been pretty. I hope I've been. I don't know. We have talked to people from my past. But, you know, my parents, they were kind of strict. So it kept me with decent manners. But as I'm getting older and I'm pushing that 50 mark, it's making me really like look at everybody all around me, energy, and it's making me more grateful, more gracious, more humble. Because I know that um, people don't have to be nice. I know it's a blessing and an honor when people serve me. And I know we're all on this earth for a short period of time. And I just want to make my time count. I was also humbled after I graduated with my master's degree because I had to take a much, much lower paying job and I could barely pay my bills. I was pissed, to be honest with you. I was frust frustrated because I had spent three years in school. I did everything. I saw these different other people getting hired that didn't even have positive attitudes. And I'm like, how are they getting hired? I'm not getting hired. It frustrated me to no end, but you know what? Things turned themselves around. By the end of the year last year, I got a full-time job. I'm doing my therapy. I'm a therapist two evenings a week, and I do it on Saturdays, maybe even Sunday if I have, if I have an overlap of clients, but I'm a very fortunate lady. So I just want you to remember these words. Stay humble. Treat others with care. Be kind. Be gracious and grateful. Tammy C. Walker, Life Coach, and do me a favor. Give me some uh, comments about times maybe you've been humbled. Maybe if you went through a divorce or a breakup, a job loss, when you had to be humbled, but it taught you a lesson. Like a dear friend told me, adversity, uh, he's not a dear friend. He's my coworker, but he's cool. He seems like a cool guy. He said, adversity is beautiful for us because it teaches us lessons. It's, it really does. And it shows you what you made of. When the rubber meets the road, you see what people are made of. It's easy to be happy when your bills are paid, when your health is good, when your family's good. But when you don't have that job, when mama or daddy's sick, you sick, that's when you see what people are made of. Stay humble. Enjoy your life. When things are going good, just enjoy the ride. Tammy C. Walker. Now I'm closing out for real. <laughs> life coach therapist. Hit subscribe and hit like. I've been enjoying your comments. You are warming my heart. And um, I appreciate everyone watching. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>